It's a museum experience popping up at Ala Moana Center, but only for a few days. It's a culture lab featuring artists, scholars, and performers from across the Asia Pacific region. Joining us now to talk more about this is Kaleva Korea, the curator of Hawaii and Pacific at the Smithsonian Asian Pacific American Center. Good morning, Kaleva. Good Welcome. morning. Happy Aloha Friday. Happy Aloha Friday. And first of all, congratulations to you because you're the first native Hawaiian in this position. Yes, correct. Congratulations. Uh, thank you very, very much. So we're calling this a culture lab. What is a culture lab? So a culture lab, uh, the Smithsonian Asian Pacific Center, we don't actually have a physical space in Washington, D.C. So what we did was we decided to do a series of pop-up museums in different cities and locations and really kind of looking at what the community voices and what they want to speak about. And so what we do is we actually uh, basically talk about um, the issues that are current as opposed to a museum which looks at things of the past. Okay. These are some of the images that you'll see here um, that will be displayed at our culture lab that starts today at 11 a.m. At El Moana Center. At El Moana Center. Okay, you talked about doing these culture labs in other cities. So after New York and D.C., why was it decided that Hawaii was going to be the third and largest culture lab location or how was that decided? Very good question. So actually, this was supposed to be our first culture lab um, that we were going to do, but um, we, we decided to do our first one in D.C. after doing some investigation that we needed a little more time to look at what the local culture here needed to speak about. Mm -hmm. And so essentially we chose Hawaii because we have a rich cultural heritage here, the local mixing, the convergence that happens, and we look at it and we think that this is one of the best places to hold conversations about convergence. Perfect, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. And now, we saw some of the images, really gorgeous images, but can you explain a little bit more about what people can expect when they head out there this weekend? Yeah, so there's something for everybody at this culture lab. We have um, comic book making workshops. We have a uh, lecture series. We're looking at uh, things like indigeneity. We're looking at um, state building. We're looking at sustainability. We'll be uh, doing stuff with... Uh, action figures, we have um, a lot of projections and stuff, and there's a lot of great talks. So really the artwork, what it does is it serves as a backdrop for conversations between the artists and the community. And it sounds like it's something for everyone. I mean, comic book making, you yeah. know, so real Ohana event, it sounds like. Yeah, definitely. This is a family-friendly event, and it's something that uh, will be there for everyone. And we look at the artists in this case less as artists and more as, uh, as educators mm -hmm. in this space. All and right. so, yeah. All right, it's this weekend, and it's free for it's, anyone interested in going. It's free, and it's in the old Foodland location. So if you know where that space is in Alamana Center, we welcome you to come down and be a part of our Ohana. Okay, again today and tomorrow from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m., and then Sunday from 11 to 7. Thank you so much for being here, Kaleva. Thank you so much, Chris. I appreciate it.